Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a little project share here. Actually, I was gonna, it's more, uh, and a put together, project share and put together. Um, I was going to show you how to put together these, uh, super cute, fun little mailboxes from Tonic Studios that have an integrated, uh, gift card holder in them. They are so stinky cute, so fun. Um, they're actually a really good size, uh, to fill with candy and put gift cards in. Oh, they are, they're really fun. Uh, the dies are okay. Um, these cut okay with just, a, you have to go back and forth a couple times uh, in the machine. Um, this one here, though, to do the back, I had to um, put that on a metal shim and run it back and forth a couple times, but then it finally cut, uh, you know, pretty good. So, um, and then this one here actually cut really well. That was super intricate one, that was just a couple times regular, no shim required. Um and and whatnot but uh, other than that all the bold layering pieces that just do like the um pattern paper those all cut one pass that wasn't a big deal it was just basically the intricate ones that you had to run back and forth a couple times but here these are so this one utilizes uh recollections 110 110 pound white cardstock as uh basically the base and the back um and then all the red is stamps of life strawberry ink strawberry ink, <laughs> strawberry paper. Um, the lid I had to, uh, double up to make it sturdy enough because right now they only have their, I think it's probably 65 pound. It's much less than it normally is. Um, strawberry paper, uh, but that's okay. It works great doubling it up. So, uh, there you go there. And so this even cutting with the metal shim, you had to go back and forth a couple times, even with the thinner paper, but that's okay. And, uh, this here, uh, utilizes some of the Stamps of Life uh, pattern paper out of the uh, Delightful Collection. This month's um, card kit paper pad. And um, I thought that just added a cute little something extra to the back of there. And there's that one. How fun is that, right? And then this one uses some more of the pattern paper out of that same paper pad. And uh, then some of the dyes. This is uh, Stamps of Life. I think that is Cloud, the lighter gray. Um, and then some of Stamps of Life Bubblegum. Um, and, oh wait, and so this this card looks like this, the gift card holder. Some of the pattern paper there. Um, oh, and on the front as well. And then the bubblegum. Um, and then opens up like that and... Super fun. The trick to these, to get them to open and close, you push down in the center very gently. And then it allows the little latch to come off. So that makes it super fun. Uh, but I was going to show you how to put these together. And these dies are... Did you see that, actually? Could you even see it in full view? The back and the bottom is gray. And then this one. The back is white the bottom's red and that's what that one looks like how fun right and so the dies are this is the matching this came in a set along with the happy mail die from tonic studios and is a really fun one to put together but it's called you've got mail and it comes with whoa this great cardboard that holds all your dies and um, also with the instructions as well on the inside. Uh, like a so. Whoopsie. Um, but I used the heck out of the die, so now they're kind of bent and they don't want to, uh, stay on the cardboard. Even with the plastic cover on it, but that's okay. So, I was going to show you how to actually put this together. So, I use a uh, score tape. I got some Michaels ribbon here that um, I cut a piece off already, and I'm going to glue in half as the pull tab for the gift card holder. Um, I'm going to use art glitter glue as well. So, let's... I've got my camera stand in a new spot, so we're going to see how it's going to work out today. I don't know. So, these are all my pieces. Um, in this one, we I used uh, the... Stampin' Up, I think this is Stampin' Up, the Stampin' Up Bow Punch. I used a Anna Griffin Slimline Embossing Folder, that design there. I'm not sure what it's called. Mm, there's no name, but it's Anna Griffin Slimline. 
uh, the Stampin' Up! Scalloped Heart and Matching Heart Punches. And EK Tools, a uh, Love Punch. Yeah, EK Tools. Uh, that big guy there. As well as uh, We Are Memory Keepers, little 5 8 inch heart punch. So let's put this puppy together. And so this is some of the pattern paper out of the Stamps of Life Delightful Paper Pack Collection. Uh, it's nice because this piece is actually bigger than 6x6. Six six. So that paper pad is 6x9, so that's why this works. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, I cut two out of the Stamps of Life Strawberry. I cut two of the front tab closures. And I want to glue those together really quick. I've gone ahead and cut everything out and then burnished all the score lines already. So that way... This will go pretty quick because I just want to show you how some of these um, Tonic Studios dies go together. They're actually quite user-friendly um, and they make the cutest little things. I've got another one that's like a little picnic box. Oh gosh, it's darling. Um, I got another one that is um, books. Like you can make a really cool stack of books um, and they have drawers. They like It turns them into drawers, but they look like books. It's a really cool set I've been wanting to use and then I got another one it's a cantilever one it looks like a picnic or a fishing tackle box you know how they like have all the stacking drawers and then you open it and then all the drawers go like that I have a die that does that and I've been chomping at the bit to use that and what oh and then the cutest one that's a little backpack that makes a photo album oh my gosh darling 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 and I just got a for Christmas, John got me the selfie CP1300 little photo printer, but it it didn't work out so hot, so I gotta find something else. Um, the little software on it is, I don't know, wasn't my speed. So we're gonna do something else on that. Um, but as soon as I get it figured out, I will let you know. I think we're gonna try the Canon Square, the Canon Selfie Square, I think it's what it's called. Um, that one seemed like it had good photo quality. The reason we wanted the CP1300 was because it did 4x6. And, um, yeah. It was just bigger photos. Like, the selfie square one, I think it only does, like, a 2.7x2.7. So, we'll see. Maybe that's a big enough photo. I don't know. Um, so, oh, gosh. Seriously. So, these are the two front pieces. I just glued the little tab together. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue my little layering pieces. I use the um, embossing folder to do the two sides, which I think are really cute. And these are cut out in strawberry. I want to layer all my pieces while they're flat because uh, it'll be much easier to glue them on, I think, while they're just kind of flat sitting on the table. At least for me, I think it'll be easier. And these these go together so fast. It's honestly the hardest part about these dies is picking what paper you want to use or images or whatever. Uh, so then I cut some of that pattern paper out for the front to go right there. Um, I wonder if I should should have showed you what the dies I was using. Well, you'll see if you have this one or if it's still, you can still get it. Um, try Crafty Flare if you can't get it on Tonic Studios or Frantic Stamper. She's got a, Frantic Stamper has tons of stuff. Um, I was just watching a Simply Shantae video and uh, she did the cutest card project share. And oh my gosh, this one, it was a little gnome, had the most awesome paper perfect for John and frantic stampers had um that paper still so because they don't make it anymore I don't believe it's discontinued so a lot of discontinued stuff you can find on her website frantic stampers just a little FYI uh let's see we're gonna glue this on So, 
Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, and then let's see. This is that bow. I think that's pretty cute. Um, I was thinking I could do that like a tag. This is some of that white glitter from Cricut that already has adhesive on the back. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. Yeah, this stuff's fantastic. Wait for it. Yeah, so I hopefully am going to be doing quite a few scan and cut videos with the new stuff I got for Christmas. Um, John got me the rhinestone, um, the rhinestone kit for the skin or starter kit for the skin and cut. He got me a tattered lace. Um, I think it's number four. A uh, design. Um, the design box or whatever. Um, you know, you buy the little card and it, um, I think, I think that'll look cute if it's a little tag. I think that'll look like it's a little tag. I think I like that. Um, the cartridge, cartridge, that was the word I was looking for. The little tattered lace design cartridge and then a 3D one. Um, oh, that's for that. Let's see. Oh, they, these little hearts I was going to stack on the sides. Um, I should have probably layered all this together already. Um, and so I'm hoping to do some more skin and cut videos uh, and projects. Um, kind of like this, you know. Uh, for Valentine's Day and stuff. I got another project I'm going to share with you. Um, for those of you that, you know, might have some extra Hershey bars lying around for making sport s'mores over the summer. <laughs> Cause, uh, or if you do craft fairs <laughs> and you do like Hershey snowmans. <laughs> so if you have some leftover you did not use, um, hint, hint, mom. <laughs> This might be super fun for you guys to try um, for this the next video I'm going to do. Um, I think it came out super cute. Uh, let's see. These are the We Are Memory Keeper little hearts. Aren't those darling? These are so cute. Now I'm wishing I would have already layered all this stuff together. It's probably taking forever. And, um, but see, they go pretty quick. I mean, this is all a bunch of extra fiddling around. Uh, just, you know, with the decorations and stuff. But, I mean, even then, it's pretty, pretty simple. So then what we want to do is we're going to take this piece here. This is the bottom. So when you're looking at it, um, the little piece goes towards the front and what we're going to do is we're going to line it up like that so i'm going to put glue on these three sides and if you use wet glue it allows you to kind of move it around uh, manipulate it a little bit into place you don't get too long with the art glitter glue but you do get some so i'm going to try to line it up towards the edge and in the center. Okay, and now we want to take our bone folder and burnish those little pieces down with the glue. Oh yeah, see? Look it! It's coming together! Okay, and then see how this, these tabs are all folded in? What we're going to do is we're going to put score tape. So there's two layers to the back. So it's actually going to go like this. 
but this piece, the front, is going to slide in between those tabs all the way to the bottom, like this, but we're going to have score tape there, so that way these will adhere, and then we'll turn it over and burnish it. Um, that seemed like that was the easiest that I found, and you're putting a piece on the back of this, so it works out really good. And I got eighth of an inch score tape, and I'm just going to the bottom of that little piece there. And then on all three sides, the two sides and the bottom. And if you go over with your score tape, you can always just um, fold it back down after you peel the backer off. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to slide it down front first in between the tabs. And then we're going to try to like, you know, make sure it's pushed in. And actually, if you run your pointy side. And then all the way, all the way to the bottom here and just kind of. Press, you know, kind of firmly. If you line your fingers up at the bottom, you can actually feel your bone folder at the bottom there. And then run the pointy all the way into the middle. See? And it doesn't matter if you get over because that's there's a piece on the back. So that's what we're going to do now. So if this actually was the intricate piece, the one where I cut all that fancy, the uh, fancy stuff like that would technically be this piece. I would actually put the glue on this side and on the little fancy pieces, the little scrolly pieces and stuff. But since it's a solid piece and it matches this one identical, it doesn't matter. And so then what you want to do is you don't want to line it up from the bottom. You actually want to line it up from the top and the front. Because it doesn't matter on the back where it ends up. Um, it's the top piece that you want straight. And then go ahead and burnish it down with your bone folder to make sure it's all stuck really good. And that's what the back looks like. So we're pretty, pretty close to getting done here. So then what I like to do is I like to run a couple strips of score tape on the back edge of my little flap. Uh, don't worry if you go over because you can always, when you take the back or I'll fold it back on itself. See, like the extra pieces, like that. You don't want them to stay sticking out because that'll you'll see that in the inside. So you want to make sure that everything stays on the back of that tab. So that way it's clean on the inside. And so then what you want to do is, you want to line it up. No, that's not right. You want to line it up. Oh, yeah. So that point to that point. And if you don't press too hard. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So then once you get it lined up on the two points, then just take your bone folder in there and then go along that crease. There like that. Just use that to press it down really good. And we're getting closer. See how cute that, oh, whoops. I dented my edge there. 
Um, see how cute that's getting? Oh, I forgot to put the layering pieces. Where are those? Shoot. That's what these go to. Okay, that's okay. I embossed these as well. See, I think it's easier just to put these on before you layer them up. Yeah, before you put them all together. Seems like it's easier. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be cute. Okay. Now, so this is the little piece that is going to be your little latch piece. So we're just going to put glue in the middle of that. Pinch that together. Okay, whoops, whoops. Make sure that stays glued down really good. And then cut, tear off a couple of pieces of score tape, little pieces like that. And then I want to try and make sure you get it all the way across though. And any extra you can just fold back on like the empty spaces. that wait Let's see okay like that and then what you're gonna do is you are going to take and line this puppy up And if you just set it, nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so so you're just going to lightly put it on there, press down in the center just a tad, and then it'll go on, and you'll get your little test fit, and then you can go ahead and press down if that's where you want it. And then, voila, it fits. How cute is that, right? Oh, I think I got it a bit high. Shoot. I wonder if I can move it. Oh, oh. It was just stuck on. I might be able to finagle it off. Oh, come on. Oh, barely. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. We can work with that. We can work with that. Don't worry. Phew. Let's just put some glue on that. What do we think about that? Ha. Okay, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is still go in the center, but go down right to the edge of that layered paper. Right about there, I think. I think. Let's see what we think. Let's see if we like this. Do we like that better? Oh, I think we do. Okay, that's good. So right to the top of the layered edge, and we got it lined up in the center. Okay, so now let's get our grubby little mitts off there. There. Okay, I think we got it. Just let that... And let's... Well, that's kind of setting up a little. We'll um, put our little tag together. And that looks pretty cute. Okay, while that's setting up... Oh, actually, and we'll put our little hearts together and stuff. 
Okay, so what do we say with this? We were going to do... Um, Uh, let's see, like this. I was thinking about putting one right here. I think that is super cute. I think I am going to do that with the love on it. Come on. This has, this is the Cricut white glitter with the adhesive. Hmm. How do you get the backer off of your white glitter? Darn you, come on. Come on, don't be camera shy. You can do it. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Mm, that like about looks that looks goodish. Do we like that? I think we like that. I think we should totally go with it. Go with it. Okay, glue it. Do it. We're loving it. Ooh, I bet I didn't need to put glue that far up. Ooh, that's a bummer. Let's see. look straight guys I can't see the camera I think that looks pretty good hopefully it's not too bad on the back and that'll dry clear I think we're good there okay all right let's leave that okay and put our gift card together okay so then what we're gonna do is I got a couple more hearts here so let's get our little ribbon piece here I'm just going to put some glue on the back of it. And then we're going to fold it in half. Whoops. That looks pretty good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces. Um, and we're going to... I think that'll be good right there. Put that there. That looks pretty centered. Uh, run some score tape over it. And then we'll glue this to the other one. Um, That looks pretty good. Right? I got glue all over my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. And now, what do we want to do? Pink or the red? That is pretty darn cute there. Let's uh, do one of these. And put one of these. I think that's cute. Make sure we get these bent out a little. That looks cute. You can actually see the little heart in there. Let's see if we can fit a gift card on there if we put it crooked. Oh, that fits. Okay. If it fits, it chips. Be sure don't don't put any on your little tab there. Just at the very bottom to hold it down. Right. Is that hopefully over enough? Does that go? 
Oh yeah, that's cute. So we hope for the best. Yeah, that looks cute. Right? That's pretty cute. That is pretty darn cute. Oh, and let's put uh, this on the front. Let's see, that's the back. Yeah, if I just had simple layering and everything, we'd already be done with this. Good thing I die cut everything and embossed it off the camera, huh? That would have been, like, really long. Probably, actually, only would have been, like, maybe another hour. Or, I mean, 30 minutes, probably total. An hour, hour total. That's pretty cute. Okay, there we go. How fun is that, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see how this works. There it is. There's ours. Hey. Look. Okay, and that was cuter. I'm glad we moved it down. Right? Look how cute that is. So let's pop our little holiday card in there. Oh, oh, it's magic. There you go. There you go. There it is. How fun is that, right? You pop it out. Boom. Fill it with candies if you want. How cute is that, right? And then a little gift card. How cute. You don't have to have a gift card. You don't have to put that on there. You could just make a fun little happy Valentine's Day tag or something. Or happy birthday. I love you. And fill it with candy. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? But if you keep it actually pretty vague like this. It doesn't actually say happy Valentine's Day. It just says love. You could actually use it as an anniversary. Or you know birthday. Whatever. It, honestly. You could use it for just about anything. It's just super cute. It looks like Valentine's Day. But. I mean, they, they could technically be used for anything. So, anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video um, and putting these together. And um, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. Hope you guys are having a, whoa, that was wild, a terrific holiday season. And until next time, happy crafting. All right, take care. Bye-bye.